Bare Naked Ladies should come back for a, a new one week. Skibbity toilet, the toilet chicken. You have a drumstick and the Nike wheel kicking. Watching White Lotus with no lights on. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I had to think of a show that wasn't the X Files to fit in there. They should do one week every year and just, it could be like a we didn't start the fire type thing. It could recap the entire year. I hope Jennifer Coolidge is in this one. They could do the YouTube rewind. I mean, Bare Naked Ladies, I like them, but they gotta be like one of the most bad chestable bands in the business, without a doubt. Goo Goo Dolls? I do hate the fucking Goo Goo Dolls. That's not up for discussion. I thought the Bare Naked Ladies changed their name to the Goo Goo Dolls. First off, they sound nothing alike. Secondly, that sounds like a Jimmy Carr joke. I'm so old, I remember when the Bare Naked Ladies were called the Goo Goo Dolls, or vice versa. Cancel culture's gone so crazy. Did you know that Gen Z forced the Bare Naked la Ladies to change their name to the Bare Naked Men? <laughs> Uh, 94 year old British people in the audience be like holy fuck so true they did do that they didn't but you could imagine that they could have one last chance before I quit I never wanted anything that I could fit into your head I still remember everything you word you said and I sorry you know what I'm talking about since I was always caged and now I'm free! No, that's Monkey Wrench that. by the the Foo Fighters. It is not? It is. It's the breakdown. I know all the breakdowns in 90s music. Try me. Buddy Holly? Bang, bang. Knock on the door. Another big bang it down on the floor. Oh no, what do we do? Don't look now, but I've lost my shoe. Corny ass fucking Rivers Cuomo rap segment. I can't run, I can't sit. What's the matter, babe, are you feeling sick? What's the matter, matter, what's the matter, what's the matter, you? Oh, what's the matter, babe, are you feeling blue? Oh, 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 oh. So true. Gen Z so crazy, they forced the Foo Fighters to change their name to the Foo Diplomats. So true. <laughs> I just uh, just do the same joke over and over. It's going to say, hey, inflation's so bad, Andre 3000 had to change his name to Andre 4000. And they made Big Boy change his name to Big They Them. But dum <laughs> That joke would kill in Atlanta, bro. I like this guy. It just seems like the kind of stand-up you could have a beer with, man. Not like that John Mulaney guy. So uptight about his sobriety. He seems like the sort of guy you could really get into just a little bit of mischief with. Vertical spin go in. What is the king of puppets saying? I think it's like he fucking how you built a tower tumbling to the sea where you would lay and learn what each other's bodies were for. Your mom would drink until she was no longer speaking. And dad would throw the garbage all across the floor. As we would lick the golden rod in the 4-H stone The things I bought you when I found out you had blankie of the bone You know what I'm talking about? We're mashing it up. We're mashing up Jeff Mangum with St Sufian Stevens who often sings about <laughs> Mangum <laughs> and God and sometimes the Mangum of God, honestly Then I think about it, Jeff Mangum's got some songs where he sings about Mangum too and that should be staining the mountaintops. Hope you brought the Costco-sized Tide Pods. King of Puppets. Hey, I've been workshopping a tweet about Neutral Milk Hotel. It'd be something like, bro, bro, tell them. Tell them, tell them that story about when you were young and you were the, what were you, what did they call you when you were young again? And then it would be like, oh, I don't really wanna 
you dredge up the past. No, no, no. I remember when you were young and they called you like the king of carrot flowers or whatever. And how you built like a tower that was tumbling to the freaking sea or whatever. Tell them about it, bro. Tell them. That's getting a lot of plus twos, but I got to figure out how I'm going to phrase it. Okay, for now, slash, slash marker me.